Hey guys, Boomer here. Uh, boy, it's chilly out here. It gotta be low 40s. Wind picking up a little bit. Hope it's not too dark. Kinda looks dark. All right, that's uh, about as bright as it's gonna get. Um, yeah, I did want to talk just real quick about uh, turn signals. Turn signals. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't use them. <laughs> Hopefully they do. But they're kind of critical on a motorcycle, and I'll tell you why. Because it lets other people know what you're going to be doing. Turn signals are not to let people know what you are doing. It amazes me how many cars will, you'll see brake lights, and they'll be almost to the turn, and then the turn signal comes on. You're supposed to put it on ahead of time to let other vehicles know what you're doing so that then they can adjust to what it is that you're going to be doing. If you wait until you're in the turn, they already know what you're doing, and uh, that's not the purpose of turn signals if you use them. But anyway, I'm, I'm uh, going down a rabbit trail. Uh, what I wanted to talk about with motorcycles is, um, as you know, almost all turn signals do not have self-canceling turn signals. As some do, some of your newer bikes, your topper and your topper and top-end bikes uh, do, but most motorcycles do not have uh, self-canceling turn signals. And it's important, and if you know other people who ride, or uh, even uh, car drivers, this is so critical for car drivers to understand, that just because a motorcycle has his turn signal on does not mean that the motorcycle is turning. Because all of us have forgotten to turn off the turn signal on the bike. Uh, you make a turn and you're cruising down the road going through the gears you get a couple miles down the road and you look down and your turn signal light is flashing you forgot to turn it off it happens to all of us but you have to get into the habit of reaching your thumb up almost like reflex you do it so that you don't have to think about it uh, when the turn signal comes on you make your turn the thumb comes up and you turn it off uh, just make it a habit make it reflex and this is why it's so critical Suppose I make a right-hand turn, and I'm cruising down the road, and I've got my turn signal on. I forgot to turn off the right-hand turn signal because of the right-hand turn I just made. The turn signal was on. I forget to click it off. There's a car coming from a side street on my right. Now, this driver may well see my turn signal and assume that I'm going to be turning and pull right out in front of me. And the whole while, I'm not turning. Uh, it's critical to make sure you use turn signals and then you turn them off after you've made the turn. And I've really gotten into the habit of just glancing down when, when I glance down at my speedometer and of course the turn signals are right there as well, just glance down and a lot of times just out of reflex I'll be riding and I'll just throw my thumb up. I won't even look, I'll just throw my thumb up and push the button, the cancel button on my turn signals. Uh, on my Hondas, you actually have to slide the turn signal lever back into the neutral position. But on the Suzuki here, uh, it's a button that you push, uh, and it will cancel the turn signals. So that's basically all I wanted to talk about today was the turn signals and how critical it is to use them, but to make sure you cancel them after you've used them. And let drivers know, and, and, and that's one of the things that I would like to try and do on this channel is just for for car drivers to understand motorcyclists uh, if if just a little bit better then I think we're all better off for it but a car driver should really understand that when they see a turn signal on a motorcycle please be sure that motorcycle is going to be turning um, I don't think drivers know that motorcycle turn signals don't self-cancel uh, because obviously they do in cars unless they're broken so maybe they're thinking okay well all vehicles cars trucks bikes whatever the turn signal cancels most bikes they don't and I don't think car drivers or anyone who, who doesn't have experience on a motorcycle understands that so as as riders we need to, to kind of take charge of our surroundings and, and, and make ourselves safer uh, as we talked about in a previous video, see and be seen, 
I guess a caveat to that is you want to be seen in the right way. Uh, so if you have your turn signal on, you might be seen, but they might think you're turning and you could be going straight. So anyway, uh, ride safe, ride often, and until the next video, take care. Oh, one other thing. Uh, spread the word around about the channel. It's, it's a fairly new channel. I have half a dozen videos or so. More to come. Uh, click the like, the subscribe. Uh, would appreciate it. And, um, you know, like one uh, YouTuber that I watch, uh, I love this guy, Dr. Ken Berry. Check him out. He says, but if you'll click that little bell, every time I get a bright idea, you'll be one of the first to know. So whenever I put a video up, uh, if you're looking to improve your motorcycle riding skills, uh, or if you're just a car driver and you want to understand how to better behave around motorcyclists, because there are a lot of us out there and uh, everyone wants to get home safe. So uh, click the subscribe, click the like for this video, click the bell so that you're, that's a lot of clicks, isn't it? But it's worth it. All right. Till next time, ride safe.